today. This is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news and reviews. As you can see here, we are back with our M18 smartwatch, also marketed as the T16 smartwatch. And this time we are going to check on its settings and additional features by installing the support app Z Fit. So it is available on Android and iOS okay, or App Store. So we will check on this support app. We will pair it with our smartwatch and we will see if there are some additional settings or options for this wearable. So if you have any questions regarding the pairing of our M18 or the T16 smartwatch with the Zemo Fit application, just drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries if we do have that time. Okay, so let's start and pair our smartwatch with its support app. Okay, so we have here our cell phone or our smartphone. Okay, let's search the Google Play Store. Although there's a QR code here. And here in our smartwatch, we also have, I think, a QR code here. We'll try to search it directly on the Google Play Store. Let me check. Let's make it sure that we have a We have a QR code here. Okay, so BPSPO2. Let's check. Greenage more. So we have here the QR code. Okay, so we will search it here. Okay, instead of scanning the QR code, let's search the application. Okay, so we have here, so the same logo as you can see here. We have 10,000 plus downloads. So let's install the application. Okay, so we have 82.90 MB. So it's a bit big, but let's wait. Okay, so we have here, okay, the Zemo Fit. So we have successfully installed the application. So let's open the app a Z move fit so we have here a privacy policy user agreement agree and continue okay agree and let's check track daily life professional sports mode 24 heart rate monitoring start to experience Okay, here it is asking for a registration. Okay, in our case, we'll jump over. Okay, we'll skip this one. Then we have here some permissions. Just allow it. Okay, leave it as it is. And here is the UI of the Zemo Fit. So we have the home, sports, device, and mine. So in our case, we'll go to the device section. So let's add our smartwatch. Okay, tap on the add device. Allow. Allow this one. And it's now searching for our smartwatch. Okay. So let's tap on this one. M18. Okay, can we successfully pair? So we have here kind tips. So we will allow SMS notification here and incoming calls. But we will not activate this one, the 24 7 heart rate monitoring. Okay, I have turned on. Allow Zemo Fit to access your phone call logs. This is for the Bluetooth call. Allow it. Zemo Fit to access your contacts. Allow it. And manage phone calls. SMS messages. Okay, so we will confirm. Allow on allow only while using the app. Okay, it's okay. Then go back to your device. And seems like we have successfully paired our smartwatch, the M18 or the T16, to the support app Zemo Fit. Okay, let's go with the basic setup here. 
Social reminder, let's activate. So we will allow and allow it. Okay, go back. Okay. So if you want if you don't want to receive notifications from these other applications, just disable it. Okay. Go back. Then more features. So we have here the address book. We also have do not disturb mode. Okay, we'll switch the time format to 12 hour format time. Then confirm. Let's see if it changes here. Okay. Wristband weather information. So seems like everything is okay here. So we have, I think we have successfully set up our smartwatch. Okay, let's activate this one. Then drink water reminder. Okay, you can set the time here, the frequency. And that's it. Okay. So I guess we have successfully installed the Zemo Fit app and paired it with our M18 smartwatch. Okay. And we have here the smartwatch connected to the support app. Okay, so everything is okay. Smooth pairing of our smartwatch to the support app. Okay, you can change the unit settings here. Again, if you have any questions regarding the pairing of the Zemo Fit app or the M18 smartwatch to the Zemo Fit application, just drop a comment below and we'll try to answer your queries if you do have that time.